many downswing and impact faults are caused from your backswing. So today we're going to be focusing on about how to load your backswing, how to store up that energy, that pressure into your trail side correctly as you swing back. Make sure you check out this video. So I'd like to think that I could hit them all like that, just straight down my target line, very happy with that one. What we're gonna be discussing here is loading correctly in your backswing. So what we're talking about is applying the pressure towards our trail side by rotating better. I do not want a big lateral movement off the golf ball. So if we can just place a tour stick between our feet and rather than having it in the middle, the point at the golf ball, it's just gonna sit just inside your trail thigh, so your one that's furthest away from the target. And what I want you to get the sensation of is turning and loading your body, so almost getting my upper body centered over this line, which is slightly behind the golf ball. Now that will mean there is a little head movement, but not excessive, so I'm turning and loading pressure into my trail foot behind the golf ball. And when I'm getting that, I'm also getting my hips rotating. So my trail hip is feeling like it's going up and behind me. Golfers who are swaying, sliding off the golf ball too much, we see this movement where their pelvis, maybe their upper body, I see a bit sometimes either or, maybe both, moving too much away from the target. They get way over here and then they struggle to get back. And I was teaching someone the other day who didn't get any pressure really over to that trail foot, just hung over his lead side. From there, you get one or two uh, things happening. This particular guy actually stayed there, hit down on it, hit it far too low, lost a lot of distance. Obviously, you would get some run and roll, but we're not looking for that, especially with our irons. We want to fly it, stop it. So occasionally, you get the golfer who's on their lead side, but they back up or they try and scoop into impact, knowing they're going to crash that club down into the ground. So loading pressure into our trail foot is gonna help us use those lateral forces that we really want. So our pressure on the downswing moving into our lead side, but we've gotta get it into our trail foot in the backswing. Now, what we actually see with the majority of lead golfers is they get to about 70 to 80% into their trail foot by the time they're three quarters of the way back. So by the time my lead arm is parallel to the ground, about chest height is when they're at their peak about 70 to 80 into their trail foot. As they complete the backswing, we tend to see with most golfers, there's already a movement back towards the target. And at the top of the backswing, they may end up more like 50-50 because their pressure's already starting to go back towards the target. They're hitting their peak, as I said, about three quarters of the way back. But we've got to get it there. We've got to load that pressure into our trail foot, but we're going to do it by coiling. We're going to get it by our trail side moving up and behind me. That does mean my lead side is moving a little bit down and in front of me, so I'm maintaining my tilts here. So trail side is going up and behind me, and I can really feel that pressure on the inside of my trail thigh. And quite a good thought is to feel like you can get that lead shoulder slightly behind the golf ball, nearer this tour stick that's in the ground. It may well be that you're just not getting your hips turning correctly. So an exercise you could do again with a tour stick is you could just set this tour stick on the ground at an angle. And I've, so I've got it in between my feet, but pointing somewhere between the golf ball and the target line. Okay. And what I'm trying to get is almost this matching up with that cane there. So I've got this through my hips, and if I could get my hips turning around here, that's about half of my shoulder turn, 40-ish degrees. So we're trying to get the feeling of rotating our hips and applying the pressure towards our trail side, which is very different to any lateral movement off the ball or the player who holds with their pelvis so much they can't rotate and their arms tend to lift. So we want to load that pressure into our set trail side by coiling better in our backswing. So it's that hip, 
right hip trail hip turning up and behind you my lead shoulder is going slightly behind the golf ball and from there i've got a lot of force a lot of pressure being applied to the ground through my trail foot now i've got something to use in the downswing so just using some alignment sticks is going to be really good you may even hit i'm going to keep one on the ground actually and i'm just going to get that sensation so I'm getting my lead shoulder behind the golf ball more in line with this orange tour stick. So I'm really loading into my trail foot. Again, hitting my peak at about three quarters the way back. And you can see I'm doing that by turning or coiling, not with a big lateral movement off the golf ball. So load that backswing. And I've got something to use, something to push off on the way through. The quality of that contact felt great. Just caught that left side of the green, about that 180 yard shot from my six iron, 182. It's a good yard, it's just good quality of strike. Felt like I had the pressure into my trail side. I could start to get my pressure then moving towards my lead side. If we don't load the backswing, we've got nothing to really use than in the downswing. So this is a great exercise. And I would perhaps encourage you to do some, to start with on the range or at home, actually having this freezer at the top. So we're gonna hold the top of the backswing, then hit. The benefit of that is we've got that couple of seconds just to ensure that I feel like I've got the pressure into my trail foot, I've got slightly behind the golf ball, and now I've got something to use. Don't worry if you don't strike them as well, even if you wanna hit off a small tee. So I'm gonna have a little pause. And again, it really felt like I had the pressure over here and then I could start to utilize it in the downswing. So when we talk about loading your backswing, we're talking about applying some pressure towards our trail foot in the backswing. As I said, the key there is to get to your peak, your highest amount, about three quarters of the way back. So feel it, but almost feel it to around chest height. And we're doing it by coiling, not by swaying laterally off the ball, I would accept a little bit of head movement, quarter to half a head is not a problem as long as we're going back towards the target in the start of the downswing. If that video has helped, make sure you hit the thumbs up, share with as many golfers as you can. I'd love to hear your comments below, so if it has helped, put some info in there and any videos I can help you with, some suggestions, great to get in touch in the comments box below.